Since 2008, the Capitol Smokehouse and Grill has been filling the streets of downtown Little Rock with the sweet, sweet aroma of award-winning, slow-cooked barbecue and some really hearty plate lunches. Governors, former presidents, average folks like you and me have eaten here. If these walls could only speak. What do you say? Pull up a chair. It's time to eat it up. Capital Smokehouse is a mom and pop type restaurant, of course locally owned. We do old fashioned plate lunches. Uh, of course we have the barbecue that we've won several awards for, but it's, it's just a basic good home style eatery. Now, how would you describe like the atmosphere in here? Uh, eclectic. Okay. <laughs> All kinds of memorabilia on the walls that people love to come in and, and look at. It's just been a great eye-opening experience. I hear a lot more than people think I hear. <laughs> and it, of course, it stays inside these walls. Sure. But um, yeah, there's there's a lot of deal making done mm -hmm. in this little place. It's, it's just a, a, a down-home style atmosphere. You know, Zach Bryan has a song, and one of the lyrics say, take me to a place where they still put sugar in their iced tea. Look no further than the Capitol Smokehouse and Grill. I'm... Ah. Most of my recipes are my mother's. Um, I stood on a step stool in the kitchen with her and paid attention, actually, which I'm very thankful I did. Meatloaf, chicken and dressing, Salisbury steak, all the barbecue, the pork, the brisket, the ribs, the smoked chicken, the sausage links, we, you know, we've got it all. One of their top sellers is not barbecue at all. It's actually the meatloaf plate lunch is because it reminds them of someone, their mom, their grandma, perhaps someone that made it. And it's nostalgic. I had those same memories coming back. I feel like I ate this as a kid. Mm. I'll tell you, this is some really good barbecue. I smell it all across downtown Little Rock. Still uses the same recipe, the same techniques as her mom taught her. And I hope she never changes a thing. One does not just have cornbread without washing one's bullet with a good old cup of sweet tea. <laughs> I'm so Got sorry it. for That's saying that. Tell me, so sorry for saying that. <laughs> now, tell me you're from Arkansas. I'm so sorry I said that. I regret it. I'm embarrassed. But I you love the meatloaf. Love the meatloaf. Which is unusual at a barbecue. You go to a barbecue place and you have me. I, I loved it so much. I had it not only there that day, <laughs> so I had good. it for dinner that night. And I, I'm, I'm embarrassed to admit what was this. It? What was it? I savory? almost what? went back yesterday, but it? I thought. I would be ashamed if I darkened that doorstep one more time in the span of only three days. So, uh, it, it, Secrets. it's nostalgic, mm, right? Like it just reminds crazy. me of, of meatloaf you had when you were growing up. Mm. Uh, but look, the barbecue is fantastic, the sides, and I'm always a sucker for the sides yeah. when I go to a barbecue oh, yeah. restaurant. Uh, divine. It's a really cool space. Look, it's not huge, uh, but there are so much history packed in that small little space, just uh, less than a block away. You can smell the, smell the aroma if you were to go out in the sure. garden right now. Governors, go presidents, and legislators, and and average folks, businessmen. If I just thought of all the stories you could tell, oh. uh, uh, the deals and the, the, and, and that everything that has happened in that location, uh, and they're thriving, man. You, you show up early, don't show up late. <laughs> You don't want to miss like the, the ribs or the pork. That's right. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, I was wondering why I smelled meatloaf this morning hungry. when I got to work. Well, oh, it's, me. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. 